Hello and welcome back to The Oily Life. My name is Tanya and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by for another video. I really appreciate you being here and watching the content that I create for you. Today I am sharing a short little video on how to make my lovely lavender lotion. It is a pumpable lotion and Quite honestly, this was a little bit of something I was nervous to make. I'm not really sure why. It's super simple. This is a very beginner friendly recipe. But for whatever reason, the idea of adding water into a product and what goes along with that and needing to emulsify it was something I was just really nervous about trying and I put off for literal years. And it's super simple. It takes no time to make. As long as you have the proper ingredients, it comes together really quick and really nice. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and that it inspires you to try to make a lotion for yourself. So when you are making a lotion, there's three phases to it. There's a water phase, an oil phase, and a cool down phase. So we're starting off with our water phase here. And this is a really simple lotion. So there's only two elements that are going into our water phase. Uh, the first is I'm just pouring off nine ounces of distilled water. You do want to use distilled water just to make sure there isn't any sort of uh, impurities or anything like that that are going to interfere with the lotion or leave it uh, kind of sometimes if you're using tap water, some of the different minerals and things in it like that can uh, leave kind of um, like brown deposits in your soap. So you do want to use distilled water. And then once you have your nine ounces of distilled water in your container, um, you want to add in 1.4 ounces of glycerin. Now the glycerin is a humectant, which means it draws moisture to your skin, as well as it helps trap that moisture in your skin. So that's why we're adding in our vegetable glycerin here. It gives lotions a really nice, you know, just silky, feel and um, it's a great thing to add into your lotions and that's it that's all there is to the water phase so now we're just going to place this in a pot uh, and do a double boiler I'm going to bring everything up to a simmer and let it go for about 12 to 15 minutes at a simmer while we prepare the oil phase so now we're going to get our oil phase put together. I'm going to start off with one ounce of emulsifying wax and I just got this in bulk from Brambleberry. You can get smaller containers of it but I plan to be doing a lot of lotion so just went ahead and bought it in bulk. And the emulsifying wax is what allows your other oils and your scents um, like your fragrance oil or essential oils and the water all to combine and, and not separate um, as the lotion sits. And now I'm going to add in two ounces of hemp seed oil. I'm a big fan of hemp seed oil and skincare products. I think it's great for the skin. It has a lot of great uh, antioxidant properties, but you could use any oil or combination of oils that you like. Just use um, a total of two ounces. And now that we have our oils in, we're going to go ahead and get the wax and the oil melted down and move on to getting our cool down phase together. And now we're going to put together our cool down phase ingredients and these are the ingredients that are heat sensitive so we do wait until our lotion base has cooled down before this phase gets added in. Now uh, first I'm putting in my preservative which is OptiFin and I'm putting in 0.1 ounce of that and I had to use two different bottles here. I was at the end of one um, but it's all OptiFin and OptiFin you can add it in at I believe 175 degrees. Um, now I usually don't add it in that soon because I let it get cooler for my essential oils but I, you technically can add it in once your base is at 175 degrees. Then I'm adding in a 0.1 ounce of vitamin E oil. That's just another great element for your skin. It's full of antioxidants. So I like to add it into all of my lotions. And then for this particular lotion, we're doing a lavender lotion. So I did uh, 2.1 ounces of lavender essential oil, which is a 1.5% usage rate. But you can use any essential oil that you like. Just be sure if you use another one that you check whatever its usage rate would be for this size recipe. 
Now we're going to get ready to combine our three phases together. So uh, as you can see, the oil phase is all nice and melted down. We got our water phase here, and we're going to go ahead and pour the oil phase into our water phase. And it looks so cool when you pour it in. Uh, I love this part. I just think that it's uh, just when it turns to that white uh, and you know it's a lotion, I just think that's the, the coolest look. And then I'm just going to get that stirred together really well and then check the temperature. As I said, before you add in your cool down phase ingredients, you do want to make sure that your lotion base has come down to an appropriate temperature. Um, I usually uh, go for around 135 to 140 degrees, uh, depending on the essential oil I'm using. Um, but, you know, you kind of just have to check out um, the uh, burn point for your essential oil as well as what temperature your um, pr whatever preservative you're using can be put in at. Uh, but this was at 131 degrees so I'm good to go ahead and add in my cool down phase ingredients. So I'm just going to pour them in and then give everything a really good stir. And then once I get everything stirred up, I do like to go ahead and hit the mixture with my stick blender and just uh, make sure it's all nice and combined. If you don't have a stick blender, you could technically do it with a whisk, uh, but I do prefer to use my stick blender just because I think it mixes it up uh, a little bit better and it's way faster, <laughs> but you don't have to get it. Um, this isn't be going to become super thick uh, once you do blend it. This is just to make sure everything actually gets combined together. Since this is a pumpable lotion, uh, the base is not going to uh, thicken up a ton and not until it's actually cooled down. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're blending. It's not going to be like a soap batter or like a thicker lotion base. It's going to stay pretty loose even after you've blended it. And that is all there is to this lotion. Like I said, it's super beginner friendly and it always turns out great. And it takes uh, no time to put together at all. Uh, I was so surprised the first time I made this lotion how easy it actually was. Because like I said in the intro, like I've been putting off doing a liquid lotion for literal years. Because I was so nervous to do it and I have no idea why. It was so easy. So I just got these cute plastic bottles off of Amazon. Um, one has kind of an amber look and then there's this green one. And I'm just pouring in seven ounces of uh, the lotion into each bottle. It's still pretty liquidy here, uh, but it's going to thicken up as it sits and finishes cooling down. Um, I let mine cool for about six hours before I did put the pumps on. Um, but as soon as you uh, can feel the bottle and tell that it's completely uh, cool at that point, you can go ahead and put the pump on. Uh, you won't want to do it before it's completely cool because that can just introduce some extra condensation and things uh, into the lotion bottle. And, you know, you want to avoid that where you can. So if you're a fellow maker or DIYer, what's something you've been putting off trying uh, because it makes you nervous? I think we all have those things that we uh, build up in our head as being really hard projects and we put off doing them because we don't want to fail at them or we think they're going to be too hard for us. Um, so it would be interesting to hear uh, what product or project you've been putting off. Um, leave a comment down below letting us know and then we can all encourage each other to get out and do those things that have been scaring or intimidating us. And we're just going to let these cool down now and then I'll come back and give you a little demo of what the lotion looks like. And now that the lotion has cooled down, you just put your topper on and as you can see, it's a super nice pumpable lotion. It goes on super easy, absorbs in quickly, but it's still lightweight for summer, which I think is super important. I know a lot of people, you don't want the heavy creams and butters uh, just kind of setting on your skin in the summertime, but this one's really light. It absorbs into the skin quickly, but still gives you all that nice moisturizing power. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you'll subscribe if you're not already and become part of my community here on YouTube. So take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.